Hey there everyone, this is Matt for Creative Reviews. Today we're here with the Moto E. This is the $10 doorbuster phone that I got at Best Buy. Now you can get this normally for $69.99 for Verizon P prepaid. You can get this model on Motorola's website for normal cellular use. That means unlocked for multiple carriers, but that goes for a little bit more. Its highest price is $150. Its lowest price is $120. Now this comes in two colors. This, of course, is the black version. There is a white version, too. They both look pretty good. This one has a nice 4.5-inch screen on the back here. It has this matte finish. You can't actually remove this back plate, but what you can remove is this little siding here. And what you can do is you can actually put cases around that do give some more rubber on the side and actually cover this with another layer of protection. But what I choose to use this in here is with its stock and normal case, or let's just say siding, and I think it does really well. This has a 1.2 gigahertz processor. It runs pretty quickly. Everything is pretty snappy. I've never really run into a case where this is really hindered by it. It is a quad-core processor, so you can do multiple things, and everything tends to work out well. For me, I have an iPhone. I'm actually filming an iPhone here. So what I want to do is I want to get this from my father. It didn't work out because Verizon prepaid phones cannot be used on Verizon contract phones for six months. That's where they kind of get you. But I've been using this for a while and you can see here are the applications that I've installed. I've been playing games, Clash of Clans. I've been watching my own videos and others on YouTube. I've been listening to music on iHeartRadio and watching videos and on Fios, Netflix, and watch ESPN. I like pretty much everything about this phone. A uh, number of people have been saying, you know, you can use this as a mini tablet. That's basically what I've been using it as. And some people have said this is a good second phone. For me, I'd say this is actually a good primary phone. I would be perfectly happy with this. And I'm usually picky because if something lags or if something's really not up to par, I really take, um, I take some, I really just don't like it. But this, I've had no problems whatsoever. The front facing camera is the worst part about this. It's a VGA quality camera. We're gonna turn that on here for a moment and you're just gonna see how terrible it is. First, you're gonna see that's the rear facing camera. Everything looks pretty good. It takes pretty good pictures, but the front facing camera is where it is terrible. That's me in the corner. Didn't even comb my hair today. But it's really bad. Video is not 16 by nine, the front facing camera. It's four by three. It's terrible. Don't use it. It's a camera as an upgrade from not having a camera in the previous generation. This is the second generation, by the way. But this does take some good pictures here. Um, I have a cat. That cat likes to post her pictures. And you can zoom in pretty well and see good detail on this picture. So I do like it. It takes good pictures. And as you know, pets move around. So this doesn't really have blurry shots. It also doesn't have image stabilization, but it still works out pretty well for videos. Um, let's take a look here on YouTube to see how this works and see how it looks. Now, when I read QHD, I thought them in Quad HD. It's actually not even HD, I believe, but it still shows movies and everything using every single pixel available. And it sounds pretty good here. Here's a video that we just made. We're gonna turn this up all the way and here. Hey there, everyone, this is Matt for Creative Reviews. Today we're here with the Jet Set Backpack. Now this is something that's so the front facing speaker is right here. It's actually the same speaker that you would use when you use this as a phone, putting it up to your ear. I like that kind of, and I like that not because normally when you put a phone maybe on its back like this, a speaker would tend to be on the bottom here. That means the sound would emanate from the sides and kind of emanate de like away and up. It would also increase the bass. Because this is actually not on the side, but on the front, this actually gives you a more intense sound. And you may like that, you may not like that. For me, it makes it too tinny. It could be a lot heavier with the bass, and I would have liked that more. But 
in terms of playing videos and listening with headphones is perfectly fine. Listening with the speaker is perfectly fine. Listening with Bluetooth headphones, perfectly fine. Uh, the point I'm making here is it's a great phone in general. If you happen to use this on Verizon prepaid, it's great. If you want to use this on a normal carrier, that's also great. But remember, there's a big difference in price if you get this as a prepaid model or as a normal phone. I've been very happy with it. Again, good camera, good screen, responsive processor. It plays videos. It plays music well. It allows me to play my videos and check up on all my statistics. I've really been happy with using Google Drive. I've been uploading a few of my videos on here and they are definitely working out fine. So I firmly suggest that if you're looking for a phone on Verizon prepaid, the Moto E, it's normally $69.99. I'm testing this out because I got it for 10 bucks. Very happy. I've also seen that other people have seen this online. So if you can get it online for that price, it's a steal. It is not a bad phone whatsoever. I like iPhones. I like iOS primarily, but I have been around Android phones in the past too. I would totally be happy with this phone. Last note on this, it is water resistant, not waterproof. So it can take some splashes. That means that this is a semi durable kind of phone. And with its bumper guard that it comes with, it is pretty durable, even with dropping. So I'd say go and get this if you can. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. This has been Matt for Creative Reviews. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Beam, and Instagram. Don't forget, we have a GoFundMe page set up. We appreciate all your donations because we rely on our own rely on our own funds. Subscribe to Creative Reviews and 5149 Media on YouTube. Thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.